Today's story is the Easter Bunny that overslept, by Priscilla and Otto Friedrich, illustrated by Donald Saff. The Easter Bunny was sound asleep, dreaming of a sunny day when he would bring painted eggs to all the children. But it was Easter Day and it was raining. Snug in his bed, the bunny slept on. The children woke up excited, but there were no eggs to find, only the jelly beans that their parents had bought. That month, it rained every day. Then in May, the sun came out. The bunny woke up, yawn, stretch. Quickly, he put on his Easter clothes and hopped and sang all the way to the first house. My eggs are blue, red and green too. A pink one for you, all nice and new. Hoppity, happy Easter to you! A family sat in their garden eating a big pink cake. The Easter Bunny proudly offered them his basket of eggs. "What's this?" exclaimed the father. "Why, it's the Easter Bunny," said the little girl. The mother shook her head. "Easter was weeks ago. Today is Mother's Day," the boy added. Then the baby said the only words he knew: "Bye bye, bye bye." Poor Easter Bunny. He tried other houses, but no one wanted his eggs, and some people even scolded him for not being on time. The little bunny sadly returned to his home. It seemed forever till next Easter. After May came June. After June came July. And why? I'll be a Fourth of July bunny, he thought. He made himself a spectacular hat and repainted his eggs, red, white, and blue, with stars and stripes. On the Fourth of July, he hopped to town, where everyone was watching a parade. What a parade! Trumpets and trombones, flags and floats, soldiers. Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts marched, and hopping along to their drum beat was the Fourth of July Bunny with his basket of eggs. Stop the parade! The mayor shouted. Who are you? The rabbit felt shy. Well, I'm really the Easter Bunny, he said in a tiny voice. But I overslept and missed Easter. Then he held up his basket of eggs. Happy Fourth of July, everybody! The Fourth of July is no time for eggs, the mayor said crossly. Now go away. The parade marched on, and the children followed, forgetting all about the Easter Bunny. He was left alone. He tried knocking on doors, offering his painted eggs. But everyone thought he was joking. Far away, crowds cheered as firecrackers boomed, rockets zoomed into the sky, and turned into clusters of stars. The Easter Bunny hopped sadly back home and fell asleep again. Summer passed. Autumn came, and the leaves blew down from the trees. Still, the bunny slept. One spooky night, when the wind was howling, the bunny heard a knock at his door. Three little ghosts stood outside. "Trick or treat!" they shouted, for it was Halloween. "Wait right there!" the bunny cried happily. And hopped inside to get his Easter eggs. The children were surprised to see a basket of eggs. What are those? They asked. Easter eggs. I mean, Fourth of July eggs. I mean, 
the little bunny sighed and hung his head. Why bother to explain? No one wanted his eggs. He looked so sad that the children didn't play a trick on him. They just ran away laughing and shouting, Easter eggs on Halloween! Who ever heard of such a thing? The Easter Bunny stood in his doorway, shivering in the wind. He waited for other children to come, but they didn't. Suddenly, a fierce gale swept the little rabbit off his feet and carried him high up in the air. He landed a long way away. At first, all he could see was snow. Then he read a sign, Santa's house, and followed its arrow, hopping down a path between rows of Christmas trees. At Santa's door, he knocked very timidly. Well, bless my soul, Santa said when he saw the bunny. Come in, come in. The little rabbit told Santa everything that had happened since he had overslept on Easter. Well now, said Santa, there's nothing we can do about your Easter eggs, of course. But if you want to make the children happy, I have plenty of work for you. The bunny painted toys, dolls and drums, airplanes and elephants, and tops like spinning color wheels. He had such a good time, he forgot all about the eggs that nobody wanted. On Christmas Eve, Santa loaded his sleigh and asked the Easter Bunny to come along. Off they flew. Some of the rooftops where they landed had narrow chimneys. The Easter Bunny would take the toys from Santa's sack and slide down the chimneys easily. Each time Santa marveled, I never could hop up and down those chimneys as fast as that. Then the reindeer flew on to the next house. After all the presents had been delivered, they returned to Santa's for cookies and hot chocolate. The Easter Bunny was growing tired and wanted to go home to his snug little bed. Wait, said Santa, I have a gift for you too. Inside the box, was a gold alarm clock. Oh, thank you, thank you, Santa. I'll set it to go off Easter Sunday. Months later, when the alarm clock rang, the Easter Bunny jumped up and filled two baskets of eggs. He hopped to the first house. The baby who could say only bye-bye knew more words now. Hi, Easter Bunny, he called and took an egg. Happy Easter, the bunny said gaily. That spring, everyone wanted his beautiful eggs. And because of the gold alarm clock, the Easter Bunny was never late again.